it's Harry again from Screen Arts from Sydney College of the Arts and we're back again with our Premiere Pro tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at video transitions. Last time, last video we looked at video effects and now we're going to look at video transitions and they're slightly different. So again, we want to be working within our effects workspace. So we have our effects tabs over on the right so it's easily accessible. So if we click down to video transitions, we can see all of these different transitions. We've got dissolve, cross dissolve, film dissolve. They're some of my favorite. We've got immersive video if we're working within VR, um, if we're working within chroma keying and green screens. We've got slide effects and uh, wipe effects. So again, just like video effects, um, you have to drag and drop your effects. But because we're transitioning between one clip to the other, we've got to put it between our effects. So I'm just gonna, one of my favorites, either cross dissolve or film dissolve, and I'm gonna put this film dissolve, I'm gonna drag and drop it over the top of two effects. Now, if I double click here, we can set our duration. And so we want our duration to be maybe, maybe 70 seconds. And you can see that this has come out a little bit bigger. And so we can also um, do it manually this way where we can sort of create a bigger film dissolve. So this means that it'll start dissolve a bit earlier and transition. Now, I'll take the effect off and we'll just watch the clip over here and we can see it just chop to the, chop to the next scene. Much of that success was due to the way the adult cactus blast his moth. So it was on a bird and then it went to a moth. Um, if we use film dissolve, pop that on, make it oops, zoom in a bit here, and let's make it a bit longer. That's when we play it back, the way the adult cactus blast his moth, we can see that it much of that smoothly transition the way the adult cactus blast his moth lays its eggs in the form of this. Now, one thing to know about transitions is that you can't put transitions on at the end of a clip. So if I drag this clip out and you see this little, this white clip here, we can't put a transition on the end of that. So let's just duplicate this over here. Let's put it next to this one. So let's say I wanted to put a film dissolve over here. We can't do it. We can only, we can't put it between them. We can only put it on the end of that one. And that looks kind of weird. If we want to do, if we want to put a effect over both of them, we have to pull in our clip so it's not quite at the end and then we can place it over to. So each video transition has their own attributes once again. Um, some have more than others. Insert that wipe one. Um, if we put the wipe on here, we can see that there's a whole bunch of different attributes here that the cross dissolve or the film dissolve didn't have. So this is where we can look at our A screen and our B screen. Our A screen is the clip before and our B screen is the clip after. And we can, we can put a border on it and we can do, we can reverse it um, and we can change the border color. So this is a few different effects. So each sort of transition has their own attributes that, are, that have more than others. I hope that helped and I hope uh, you'll be able to use your transitions in your videos very soon. I'll see you in the next video.